welcome to another episode of me, Bria Y, Brianna Ray from Bria Y. Oh my god, let's try this again. Hello everyone, it's Brianna Ray from Bria Y here to bring you another video. Um, today we're bringing back out, that's right, the stained glass, baby. We are doing this again. And this time I'm going to be attempting something a little bit more complicated with a lot of little round cuts, but I think I learned a lot from my first time. New plan. My tile nibbers were so big, uh, it just kept snapping things off too, too inaccurately. So I have this uh, acrylic, and I have this that I actually meant to try um, for another video. So I have the colors that I need to create um, stained glass with this thing called gallery glass. Um, it's supposed to be like, kind of like what I was planning to do with the other thing. It's like a, it dries down into like a stained glass uh, image things here. So. Um, easier to do a little bit more intricate designs. Um, you can see what it kind of looks like. Here I also have these faux lead lines um, and it looks like you can see it just kind of gives it this texture in there that looks like that stained glass, like almost ripple effect is the best way I can describe it. So the lead lines like come like stripped like this in these like little bits um, and they're just kind of like sticky. And I don't know what to do other than just like line line the design here two kind of game plans going here. So this black here. All right, so this here is um, technically like the simulated lead, uh, liquid leading. So um, I haven't tried it out here on its own. Um, and on the other side, I tried this instant leading lines. Um, so obviously for like quicker projects or easier designs. Um, obviously I tried starting Dolly like this and it just didn't go so great. Um, these are water-based paints and they can be cleaned up pretty easily. That's what I'm doing. Um, and you can see that like this area over here has like, it's like a little more sparse. Now I guess I don't really know what I'm looking for here. So really this one I'm gonna let dry overnight so that um, nothing moves along with it. Um, I'm gonna let all the linings dry and then I will add the color into tomorrow. Um, it does say that it needs 24 hours to cure. For this guy I've got super thick layer of this peach. I think I'm gonna go for like a thinner of this pink that way I can kind of see what happens when I do a little bit of both. And in the background here I'd like to take this clear. It says crystal clear um, and I'm just kind of gonna see if I can do like marbling and how that looks. So I'm just going to kind of like swirl a little bit. Um, I'm not going to cover the whole thing. And a little green. And just kind of going to squeeze it around. And I'm going to again use my nozzle a bit to do some swirling. Okay, I think I did just a touch too much overlap in some of these. Okay. right now. All right. Well, I think that's about where we're at and we're going to give it 24 hours to dry. Comes off the hands very nicely. See you tomorrow. All right, here it is. Fresh from yesterday. Um, 
pretty dry. You can see that um, it's got like different layers of opacity. Where it was thicker, it's obviously a lot thicker. And where it was thinner, it's obviously a lot thinner. Um, and like if I put my fingers behind it, you can see the difference between like how much of this finger you can see down here versus how much you could see up here. Um, it's definitely like a huge difference in clarity. So with this in mind, and also fun fact, I did uh, fully realize that I used the wrong color in the book here. Disappointing, I know. Um, I used the amber color instead of the peach. So no wonder it looked so gosh darned orange. Um, <laughs> I guess that makes sense in hindsight. Um, but with this in mind, I kind of want to keep um, a little bit more of like a textured look like I got up here. So I'm going to create like more of a textured vibe uh, for Dolly. And um, I'm gonna keep it pretty thin in hopes that I can still kind of see through it and that it'll let some light in. So unlike the stained glass, this is definitely catching a lot more light, and I really like how much light I can see through some of the thinner spaces. So that's kind of what we're gonna roll with. Here she is, everyone. Dolly is fully dry, if not a little splotchy but it does kind of add that like sort of crystalline texture that you get from stained glass. I don't know how sold I am on it. I think this part of it's still just a touch, not dry. Um, so you can see kind of the difference um, in what it looks like dried versus not. And I did kind of create that texture by swirling it around. Um, yeah, this took about 15 minutes to fill in on, on the hole, it wasn't so bad. Um, I kind of want to hold it up to the light and see how I like that. Honestly, I think it looks way better in light than it did just against the ground. <laughs> what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tiny drill and I'm going to drill some holes in the top, add some jump rings and some chains so that this can be hung up. Um, and I think that'll kind of be it. I do believe that this lighter tone was the right move, especially comparing this amber that I used in the hair to the um, orange over here, it's definitely like way more blonde looking, like a golden blonde over here than it is like the original orange. Uh, might have looked a little too ginger if I would have gone too thick. Honestly, I use this uh, micro polishing pen or engraving pen way more regularly than I thought I was going to when I initially got it. Um, especially for like jewelry and things like this where I'm just kind of trying to add tiny holes nice and quickly so I don't have to get out my whole drill. So I'm really gonna get in here into the corners a touch. These are, um, I found out, magnetic heads. Um, so, take that, everyone who said there was an Allen wrench at the bottom. This is like, th this review of this pen that I did is probably my most controversial video because people are constantly in the comments like, this is what you get for not reading the directions. There were no directions. I cannot stress that enough. It likes to get stuck on the paint a little bit. All right, made it through. I'm just going to swirl it around a little bit to just give just a little extra the hole. This one's a little too low for me. But I do have some pretty big, pretty big jump rings. And I've got this chain that I think is going to look nice. I think this silver looks best. Let's grab two of these and loop them through the top holes there. This wasn't really the route I was expecting to go, but I actually really like the way that it turned out. I think it's just something uh, a little cute and a little extra um, that he can hang and you can kind of even see on the door here how the uh, color kind of comes through and shines, um, shines on the door, which is really great. Um, I love that. I'd also kind of like to see, I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second and bring in my book um, and see if it does the same. Yeah. Definitely a lot more color payoff than you get from the real stained glass, or at least the real stained glass that, that I had. Um, it was a little bit too opaque. Um, unfortunately, my chain was a little bit too tiny. I couldn't quite fit anything in there, but, um, or rather I couldn't fit the jump rings in there, but I did find um, that I had this fuzzy um, pink that kind of matched the pink on her jacket. 
um, and I thought that it worked pretty well, so I'm a fan. <laughs> um, I think that's all I had for you today. I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and I hope to see you then. Bye.